today is a good day because this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I know that everywhere it seems to be a bad day. It seems to be a day that God is not with us or with our nation, but <laughs> he is. Oh, is he? He loves his children. Today is the day that he will shine. He will show you how much he loves you. I don't know how. I don't know when. And I don't know where. And I, I, I don't even understand. But the Lord tells me I don't have to. The Lord has revealed to me I do not have to know or understand. All that is needed is for you to rejoice today. Thank him for your nation. Thank you for him for the truth. In the name of Jesus, you don't have to thank him for the evil that has brought forth itself in this nation. I know that they say, well, you've got to thank him for the bad. Well, I thank you, O oh Lord. No matter how bad it seems, you are God. And you are there for us. You will help us. No matter what anybody says. No matter what anybody has done. No matter what. They are not God. A devil is not God. A demon is not God. A curse is not God. God is God. You who made everything. Thank you, Lord. You who sent your son to glorify Jesus Christ, you sent him, Lord God, to save our souls, to reach into our lives, and to overcome the enemy for us. Thank you, Father. You know, the first time you came, Jesus, the first time you came, you came in love and mercy. Now, the second time you come, it's going to be in judgment. The first time you come into a person's life, you just bring forth love and mercy. But the second time you come into a life, you're going to bring judgment, finding out where they will not follow you, where they lie, where they tell people this, where they tell people that. You are coming in the name of Jesus Christ. You are coming and you will destroy the works of Satan. This is what your word says that Jesus Christ died to destroy the works of Satan. No greater, no greater, greater destruction is there <laughs> than to raise from the dead. You destroyed death and made it nothing. You destroyed hell and made it nothing. You destroyed it all in the name of Jesus, allowing everything to seem like, allowing the enemy to Think like, <laughs> I'm thinking about the day that you went into the grave, Jesus, and how the devil rejoiced positively you would never, ever win again. <laughs> and how you, Lord God, rose from the dead, proving life after death. When we are in the same situation, how you parted the waters for Israel, how you proved that you are God, there is nothing greater than you. And so today is the day of salvation. Today is a day to bring many souls that have lied and cheated and used your name and, and did such evil in your name. Today is the day to deal with the blasphemers, to deal with those who hate God. Today is the day to bless your children, to strengthen them, bring them the power, put forth Oh, Father God, Jesus, put in their hands the answers, just like you put it in my hands. That little thing that you went and you took care of and you put in my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Put in the hands of those that need it right now in the name of Jesus. Those that need to overcome what the enemy has manifested himself as though he is God in the name of Jesus we are trusting in you. We are believing you. There is no greater joy than to know that you are God and that you brought forth your son, Jesus Christ, and he died for us and he rose. 
he rose from the grave to prove life after death. He rose from, from the grave, Lord God, <laughs> to show how powerful you are. So the laughter and the lies that Satan has and the pleasure that the enemy's children has for a season in sin. It's only a season, <laughs> a little season, just a little season that they have pleasure in sin. I heard something today about someone retiring. And oh, I, <laughs> you know, when you retire, you're supposed to rest. You're supposed to have a good time. I don't think anybody who is filled with evil that has done evil knowingly, knowingly, knowing that you are God, I do not think they're going to be able to rest very well. I don't, I do not believe that. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the hatred in people. The Bible says that if you hate people, you will be delivered up to the tormentors. If that's hatred is unforgiveness. If you do not forgive those who have persecuted you, lied on you, and hated you, you will be delivered up to the tormentors. So as long as the Christian remembers how to forgive, how to forget, <laughs> This is the day, the greatest day that anybody could ever know or understand. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I, 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 <laughs> I will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy to your children. Thank you, Lord, for the times, Lord Jesus, that you are delivering them even now in spite of right in plain sight how the enemy has done everything in plain sight, bragging and, and strutting and sticking out his chest and screaming and yelling. <laughs> right in plain sight, Lord God, you are delivering us. Right in plain sight, you are showing that you are God. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending us people who can do something to save the little children, Lord God, that, that were mutilated and destroyed. To save those children, Lord God, that don't even understand, have no power to choose you. Thank you, Lord God, because you are delivering them even now. You are going to make a way where there is no way. Thank you, Lord, that in spite of all of these people that take the word of God and twist it and turn it to suit themselves, don't care if these children are destroyed in this nation. Don't care about the mutilation of the bodies and the millions of babies that have been killed. Don't care about the oppressed woman that has been raped and murdered and, and all of that other stuff. Oh, oh, oh. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. They don't care, but you do, Lord. That's the wonderful thing about you. You care. You care above all things. You care about every single man, woman, and child that is yours. Everyone that claims the name of Jesus Christ that loves you. Not the one that claims Jesus Christ and lives like demons. Not that one. In the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter anymore what they think, say, or do. What matters is what is done in, in our lives do to you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. 